Welcome back, everyone. I am Ted's friends. And I am the Mike Robles, and this is Squad Says Serve. A cooking competition where you, the squads, control everything. You will get to vote on resources for your chefs, force ingredients the other chefs must use, scoring categories, and sabotages to inflict on the imposing, <laughs> inflict on the opposing, yeah. inflict on the opposing chef. All right, let's go ahead and let's meet today's chef, Chef Sanjali and Chef Derek. Come on over. Oh. <laughs> she, she can do nothing, but she can do it with flair. <laughs> Go ahead and get to your stations there. Well, guys, uh, we'll do intros in just a second here. Oh, no, intros happen now. Now they are. Intros happen now. Hello. Chef Anjali yes. on the Purple Squad. There are two words that I've never really heard together in the same sentence. It feels so weird. Why don't you go ahead and tell the folks that maybe just joining us who you are, what they do, where they can find Hi. you on the internet. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm Anjali Bamani. I am an actress, singer, dancer, probably in that order. Um, and uh, you can find me on the interwebs at Sweet Anj with three E's, S-W-E-E-E-T-A-N-J, um, all over the interwebs. And uh, you know me from television as uh, Nina Patel on Modern Family and some other uh, disapproving Indian mothers and uh, doctors and all of that and also as the voice of Symmetra on Overwatch and as Stingray on We're Alive Frontier. Um, clearly I love that character so <laughs> please watch We're Alive Frontier. Great, all right. And over here we have Chef Derek. Derek, are you used to hearing that? No, that's a thing I never expected to hear. Ah, exciting. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm a touring stand-up comic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a recording artist at StandUpRecords.com. Dan okay. Schlissel, Grammy winner uh, for Lewis Black's album. Um, I tour regularly with uh, Brian Posehn, occasionally with Patton Oswalt. Um, you can hear me on Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, uh, a podcast. Go look at podcasts. I'm all over the place. Awesome. Um, I, 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 that's what I do. Unfortunately, it's comedy. That's all I do. And act. <laughs> and write. And I'm tiny. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad we got all but that out of the way. You can find me on Twitter at Derek Sheen. You can find me on Instagram at Derek Sheen 666. There we go. <laughs> Make sure there's three sixes on the end of that. Very important. <laughs> so we've got, thank you. We've got, <laughs> Derek, Derek. We've got <laughs> Derek Sheen 666 and Sweet Ange with three E, with E, E, E. So that's Triple perfect. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? That's what was that? Three flag? E's. I told you guys, I'm gonna get by. Like, can we make one of the judging categories flair? We we might. That might. There might be <laughs> or a thing. That, dances. The, the chat doesn't know about the categories yet. I haven't got there. You're well, I don't know head. what's happening. The I don't know how this works. Because you just yeah, keep going, aren't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna we got a teleprompter. I gotta read off that. Read time. it. I'm we'll read. Can I read it now? Yeah, please okay, read I'm it. Now. <laughs> Let's talk about the rules for Squad Says Serves. Our chefs will have to serve these featured ingredients that have to be finished and presented to our judges. We have pork chops at 20 minutes, this bone-in chicken thigh at 40 minutes, and that beef stew meat at 60 minutes. That's right, so squads will alternate 60 second voting rounds throughout the show. Check that border around the voting options. When it's your squad's color, it's your turn to vote. Vote by clicking on the screen to select your preferred squad, uh, you'll, or your preferred option. You'll have to join a squad first. Log into Twitch and uh, click the button in the middle of the screen to get started. All right, and the thing is, most votes are gonna award a resource to your team's chef. Resources include things like heat sources, cookware, bowls, utensils, and of course, more ingredients. Your chef can choose to use any of these ingredients or not in their dishes. So there are also some special voting rounds there. Each dish will have the opportunity to vote on an ingredient to force on the other squad's chef. They must use that ingredient in the next dish they serve. You will also be able to or, uh, sabotage the opposing chef once per dish. Sabotages might include stealing resources, distracting the other squad's chef, or restricting their use of resources for a period of time. Uh, that's right. In addition to this, the fi finally, last but not least, each dish, each team will vote on an additional scoring category. This will apply across both teams for the next dish to be served. Uh, in addition to the scoring categories voted by each squad, each dish will be judged on taste. So each of the two judges will rate each dish in three scoring categories on a scale from one to ten. 30 points per dish per judge, 60 points per dish total, 180 points across all three dishes. Some of the scoring categories are a bit vague, so they're gonna be up to the interpretation of the, ju uh, of the judges just, you know, to determine what they mean by that. All right, so let's start the voting round and let's get 20 minutes on the clock for pork chops. Chefs, are you ready? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, let's do this. Yes. All right, squad says cook. 
and the voting has actually started there. As a reminder, everybody, you have to be on PC or Mac to vote. The technology doesn't work yet on the phones or tablets. If you forget the results of the previous votes, check your voting history panel in your browser located below the video player. So they are uh, currently right now voting. You can start prepping right. whatever you want to do. do. You have that back burner. Let me explain what we actually have available to us here. Then I'm going to get my sheet of paper that says it on there for us. You have, I can't remember. You have so I have too much. too many things to Yin, remember. Uh, Yinvoked in the chat says, this is such a neat so, concept. Thank you, Yinvoked. Here's what we have available to us. We have a spatula. We have the, oh, those tongs? are not yours. We don't oh. have those tongs. We have a medium pan, which you've already put on the back burner. We got that rear burner. We got the any spice, which we chose, which was peppercorns. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the knife. We chose that uh, chef's knife there. And in addition to that, we also got this baking sheet and the use of the oven. So you also have that preheated for you there. Perfect. And your squad has already voted. You also get a front burner and a medium nonstick pan. So you guys have an entire kitchen to work Hell with. Yeah. Uh, Boom, front burner, thank you. Our purple squad is currently voting on some stuff. <laughs> Judging these dishes today and nope. passing judgment on the food they're about to be eating are our two judges. Uh, we're gonna introduce them over there. Returning Judge Tifa and Judge Kaylee. Uh, judges, go ahead and introduce yourself uh, and let the folks at home know who you are. They can find you on the internet, all that good stuff. Where's Go Which vote. camera? But yeah, oh, but that one. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Tifa Robles. I am a freelance writer. I have a novel coming out on Kickstarter in February. Uh, I did a blog post for every day in November, uh, so you can go check that out. And I also write for tabletoptest.com. Um, I've been in the gaming industry a long time, and I write articles on there to help beginner players get into gaming. And she's a new full-time judge. I am a full-time judge. Which is really cool. Uh, I'm Kaylee Van Cotta. I am a talent manager, and I have not written a book or anything <laughs> that, uh, you know, she's done right now. But um, I am here, and I am excited to eat and taste everything and judge. Awesome. Sounds awesome. Uh, so during those introductions, Chef Anjali, I just want to let you know that the squad is voted and giving you the front burner and that big ass cast iron skillet. You guys, you uh, I, uh, <laughs> I started to take off the skin of this uh, uh, chicken. Because you just that, got right in there with no well, fear. Well, I just felt like it was something. Ooh, Chef Derek, Chef Derek, you're peppering your chicken. You've got the pork chops first. What are you starting on the chicken because for? Because I'm going to put those in the oven. Once I get the skin brown, it takes longer to cook. Right. Pork is pretty quick because they're really thin. Yeah. So that won't take me very long. Nice. Ever. So we do have 16 minutes before that pork needs to be served. What could you use for that? What is there uh, available to you that you might be interested in? Well, oh, I know you man. don't know what I you mean, have available to you. Uh, what, what cumin would be great with pork. I okay. mean, I already have salt and pepper, so okay. that's kind of a logical thing. Also, they did give flakes. us some fresh thyme. I don't know if that'd be nice. Oh, thyme would be that great. Pork. All right, let me grab that for you real quick here. Yes, well, uh, we got uh, Mike over there going for his ingredients. Mike, yeah. what take it from uh, here? Yeah, Chef Anjali, the yes? squad has given you some sea salt and some fresh cilantro. Oh, that's all Kothmir. You guys gave me Indian ingredients. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, look at that. Uh, no, Kothmir just did that. Uh, Debauchering the chest says, cook the skin and use the fat from that. It looks like that's what. Doing? So can we talk oh. about what you did? I don't know if they saw that. You actually wrapped I the pork chop in the chicken skin. This, I was thinking that, um, you know, uh, chicken skin is delicious, even though we're supposed to take it off for good health. Um, I, so I thought that I would uh, use the fat for some form of assistance on here since I don't have a fat to cook it with. Great, all right. So, and and, and, and said to use it to, yeah. what did say? Uh, they uh, said to use it, they, they, exactly what you plan on doing, using the excellent. fat from that well, to help cook the pork. Well, it's not very hot. So well, it's gonna, I mean, it's a cast up. iron. Uh, it'll get there. It'll, <laughs> it will get there. Also, the heat's not on there, so let's. Oh, that would be why. There we go, we got it. I got you, I got you <laughs> You guys, technology is hot. <laughs> <laughs> we do want to say, Right there, Purple Squad. I think that's what happens when you're in the zombie apocalypse. You become resourceful. Yep, and uh, Green Squad has given us some mushrooms as well. That'll go Perfect. great with that pork, won't it? Uh, Chef Alligator, a.k.a. Aaron, says, I love the judge's positivity and optimism. Just wait until the sabotage. Of course, <laughs> Chef Alligator, frequent visitor to our show, knows all about the sabotages. Oh, uh, yes, he does. <laughs> Chef Alligator is a regular competitor here. That's right. Uh, Aaron, one of our... One of our uh, great, great chef. He's, he's, he's a fantastic chef. chef. Uh, so it's always exciting to get people in here who aren't necessarily professional chefs, and it's also the opposite as well. When we get the professional chefs, it's also really fun to get them in here as well. That is true. We do want to remind everyone that if you guys are coming from the front page of Twitch, or if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that follow button and join a squad right there. Yeah. Uh, you can help out your chefs and see what's going on the sh over there at the stove. Chef Anjali, Chef Derek, what do you guys got going on over there? I am like browning this chicken. Uh, which is going to take a long time. 
Those are some pretty thick ch chicken pieces for sure. This Chef Anjali, what are you doing? Um, I'm still working on making the uh, the chicken skin crispy and delicious, and I'm using it also to cook the little pork cutlets at the same time, because I think I'm going to use the chicken skin with the pork and then use the chicken separately on its own. Wow. That, that have other things. That sounds fantastic. And also, the squad has voted to give you a large glass mixing bowl and a slotted spoon oh, for your you lentils. Go. Squad, Thanks, thank guys. you so much. You guys are on it. Those are the best. Now, green squad, or purple squad, right now, you're actually voting on a sabotage. Now, that sabotage you're voting for is against green squad here. And likewise, green squad, in just a moment, you're going to be, or purple squad is going to be, green squad, in just a moment, you are going to be voting for a sabotage to vote against purple squad. So make sure we give them something really good, like Anjali running around the building. Too. Like, yeah, Anjali need, like, sabotage her with, like, spice. Is, right, yeah. like that would be awful, right? If you got spices, no, 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 no sabotage. Spices are the worst. That would be the worst. Uh, Chef Anjali, debauchery in the chat says, salt the pork, salt the pork. Oh, thank you. You do people. have that sea salt right there. Thanks, dude. So apparently, uh, <laughs> Green Squad has given us a tiny mixing bowl, oh. silicone tongs, and cheese. Thank you. Cheese is delicious. You can't go wrong with cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese that was, as I didn't. Oh, a cheese grater. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you can grate the Pork? Yeah, no, that's exactly what we can do. Got, with that. Let's see what we got going on over here. All right, Anjali, you are now salting that pork. That is, those are some thin slices of pork. You still have ten minutes. Are you hoping for uh, for maybe something else to go with the pork? Maybe we'll see. Well, I the things that are over here, I don't know. Like the kosmir was uh, the cilantro would be late, would be like right. a, a, a garnish. Okay. Um, so I feel like. Yeah, I could love. I would love for some things to go with the pork. Um, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll some see flavors. We, we'll see. All right, something, we'll make sure the chat. Something deliciously flavored, like perhaps oh, a little soy sauce or we'll, something oh, in there. Great. Uh, I do want to remind you, you do have a large glass mixing bowl. I know you got your lentils soaking in this pan right here, right, but if right, you right, want right, to right, move, right. then you can. Thank that is you. available to you uh, right there. Uh, okay. So it looks like the first sabotage is Chef Derek. We get to steal all of your utensils, including your knives. Perfect. <laughs> so that is that is your tongs, your cheese grater, your spoon, the spatula. Wait, wait, wait. What counts as a utensil? Is a cheese grater a utensil? A cheese grater is a utensil. Everything's a Perfect. utensil. We're going to take We get all to steal it? We have taken all of theirs. We get to keep them? We, all right, everybody. We don't so, know for how long. No, Somebody we says don't steal know the for water. how long it is. <laughs> steal the water. So hopefully, everybody, we could give them a really good sabotage. <clears throat> Maybe we could get something good, like uh, another chef's knife. I know we have a knife available to us here, potentially in the future. So please. We can have that. Uh, yeah. Ooh, we have tongs now. Tong to tong, tong, tong. We have tongs now that, we, that we've stolen <laughs> from Derek. I like that. Uh, but that's like fantastic. That. Thank you, Derek. I also want to remind no the chefs: you need to make three portions, one for oh. each, ju one for each judge, uh, and then one for the Instagram. I'll just slap another pork top on there, shall we? <laughs> I flare. It's all about the flare. It's all about the flare. Uh, let's get that yeah. out of there. Right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Anjali, you got some carrots. Carrots? I love carrots. Let's cook some of those. <laughs> so we do want to say also, if you are currently on the front page, please go ahead and click through, and you can join the game. You can join a squad. How many? You can uh, choose to join Purple Squad, the devious Purple Squad, or you can join the handsome Green Squad, <laughs> as we like to call it here. So <laughs> you didn't have anything to say about it. I was waiting for you to like, I'm respond to, to I'm it. I'm trying to help my chef. You, we said we were devious, right? Yeah, 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 you're the yeah, devious no, for the fine. handsome. Yeah. No, yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I'd rather be devious. Uh, thanks for the raid, Emmy with love. Emmy with love, thank you so much for wow, waiting. Wow, Emmy, fantastic. thank you so much. Emmy's um, a close friend of mine. I'm very happy to hear that. Thank you so much for the raid, Emmy. Most appreciated. Glad to have you here, and welcome to all the raiders Six. from Emmy with love. Yeah, we super appreciate that. Uh, Chef Anjali, what do you need? What do you got going on here? You have about seven minutes left. Uh -oh. Still okay, plenty of time. Do we have a... Um... We, have, we have this? Okay. Why not? Sure. I mean, thank from the wonderful Chef Derek. We thank have all God. of these things we can use. I just want to because Chef Derek was so bit. nice to give us all of this. Oh. Chef Derek, we thank you well, oh again God, so welcome for for all of these items that we've been able to I use. Feel, are we allowed to taste as we go? Because all absolutely so yes. Good, oh, fantastic. I need to do a little bit you have you even have a second tasting spoon now. You can use Derek's tasting spoon. You can use zero. You can just reach in and grab it like salty. that. Sure, it's, it's salty. Oh, it's okay. Salty as okay. 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 All right. So, That's okay. It's okay. We can fix this. Let me fix it. Let's see what's going on back here with Derek. Derek, what's going on with your pork? How is that looking? It's looking real good. We're yeah. marinating it now in butter. And I feel uh, like you should have something given to you so that you don't burn your hands. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I can't feel it. How are you going to stir that, that no, doesn't, angel hair pasta? You don't need to stir it. What? It needs to boil. Okay, it just needs to boil, apparently, <laughs> is everything that needs to happen with that angel hair pasta. Sure. He's not going to stir it. Not even going to stir it. Sure. Well, that's okay. I'm super excited for... Uh, uh, this competition here. We've got uh, Anjali, who is right now 
shredding her carrots? No, she's, I'm just trying to peel it. She's oh, okay. I don't peeling like, the carrots. I couldn't I don't decide like what was going to happen. I don't like using the grater for that purpose. It's kind of not, not helpful. It's not helpful. Uh, Ooh, and we've got our first scoring category. All right, so chefs and judges, listen up. We have our first, cate- first scoring category, and that is, is the food happy? Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> You get me. You guys get me. Is, oh, yeah. is the food happy? So that is something that uh, is going to go across everyone right now. We're going to go to the judges in just a second. As soon as we get their second, uh, their their second scoring category, we're going to talk to the judges about what they think that means with happy food. Anjali, how do you interpret happy food? Um, colorful and lots of love being put into it. Lots of love and <laughs> and comedy and flair. And, woo! It's just it's more of that. I do. That's happy. It was cooked by a happy chef. <laughs> That's so, what I think it is. A chef, Derek. Green Squad, what's happening right now, and I do want to just explain it. Oh, Sorry yeah. to interrupt here. Uh, Green Squad, I do want to let you know that you're voting on a scoring category that will be effective for both squads, not just the Green Squad here. And you have voted on <laughs> Century Turret. Century Turret. What? what? Great. Okay. That is amazing. All right. Or so, okay. No, All right. wait. So, for, for, so, for some of you that may not ask Derek, because he doesn't play Overwatch, one of Symmetra's uh, things she can do is drop a Sentry Turret that will track and... and and, and aim at somebody and take their thing down. Oh my God. However, uh, it's somebody else has said Sentry Turret can be from Portal it as well. It could be from it's Portal. Be That's from the Portal. first thing I thought. It nearly edged out, nearly edged out Energy Ball. What is that? Uh, we got a huge... What I am! We got a huge uh, tip from Derek, right? From debauchery that mm-hmm. Angeli says, if, uh, if the pork good and the chicken skin is crispy, get them both out, toss the lentils in there, get the lentils in, right, let right, the right, pork well, rest. I'm a little nervous, thank you, because I'm a little nervous about... Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about those lentils, I'm not going to lie. And the chicken. Well, that's what they're saying right there. Uh, you can... You can oh, there you are. The pork's good and the chicken is crispy, toss the lentils in there, get the lentils in there, the pork rest. Wow, it's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So, but I, I'm with you. I got it. I want to make my sentry turret. So now I. No worries. Crap. Okay. I got a lot of crap on this table. Yeah. Address. All right. So we are going to. Oh, Anjali, you are still cutting more carrots and onions. Derek, let's, let's see forward. what you've got going on over here on your plate. Uh, what is this that we're going to call this? We got to bring this over in a minute and thirty seconds. <laughs> what do you want me to call it? Uh, it's a, they're, they're pork medallions with mushrooms. They're exactly what they are. Pork medallions with mushrooms and some thyme yeah. on there. How do you think this is going to go over with the judges? Okay. I don't know yet. Okay, how do you want me to describe sentry turret to them? Uh, well, that is a real, that's going to be, you know what, I just, like, improvise. You know what, improvise, vamp until I got ready. This. That's what they say in the music industry. Vamp, I got this. Vamp until ready. Here's an idea. Here's what we could do. We could take this, we could take the pork, and then we can have the mushrooms shooting out of it there as if go. they were like bullets from a sentry turret. So let's do that. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've still got 55 seconds to be able to do that, so let's, yeah. let's do that. Uh, all right, Chef Anjali, what do you got going on here? Let's talk about how we're going to present this dish, how we're going to serve, how we're going to present this to the we're, judges. Well, we're going to present this dish to the judges as is with this lovely garnish of sentry turrets made from the tops of our red onions and the top of our carrot. Oh, okay. And so some cilantro. Um, it is a garnish. It is not to be eaten. Okay. I think most people don't eat garnishes and are aware of that, so hopefully our judges are aware of that as well. I see that it's some... a garnish and you don't eat it. You've got some Casey beautiful crispy it. skin on there from that chicken. I do, and I use the crispy skin to kind of hopefully be a little bit of like a crispy skin crouton, if that's a real thing. That, I'm going to take my beautiful... Uh, um, this purple squad has also given you some chile negro, oh, maybe for later on. That's going to be uh, lovely. You do have about oh my 10 God, seconds left before, so I need to take this, before I need to take this, uh, this plate over. Okay, hang on. All right, you get six, five, four. We'll take this one too. One. All right, and Chef Anjali, stop. I gotta take that from you. Take it. Woo! Talk about timing. Let's get that over there. Yes! And is that all three okay. over there plated? Yep. Or is that not all three? Yep, that's all three plated. Okay. Oh, so, wow. let me talk to you about our dish here. So our dish here is going to be uh, pork cutlets with the uh, mushrooms and some thyme. Now, the mushrooms, uh, there we go, are uh, shooting out of the pork cutlet, as you can see. (laughs) And uh, they are firing out of it from all directions there. These are the bullets, the mushroom bullets that it still has available. So we have, I think, fully realized the uh, category of of a sentry turret. And uh, the taste will make you happy. Great. All right, building off that, you have here uh, your crispy chicken skin on uh, crispy chicken skin crouton 
uh, as, uh, <laughs> as Chef Anjali said, on top of a small pork chop. Uh, the garnishes here create the little uh, nozzle of the turret with the cilantro shooting out of there, uh, shooting garnish at you because we know nobody ever eats garnish. So the red onion is there to help shoot the garnish off the plate. Um, should you want some onion, there's also some roasted onion and carrots there with the dish as well. Uh, and Chef Anjali was incredibly happy to serve this dish to you guys. I do have a question. Yeah. So she threw up one of the forks in way later. Uh -huh. Do we know which one that was? Not any of the ones that was given to you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Wow. Anjali, you got a green pepper. Really? I got a green pepper. I'm going to give oh, that to you. Very exciting. Okay, okay, let's talk about this chicken dish. All right, the judges are now tasting the dishes. The uh, they're going to sit there and help figure that out and eat those dishes. We're going to move this off the side here. What are we going to do with these green lentils? We, are, we, are we still I'm, no, using we're gonna, these? Well, I was thinking that I might actually make a salad, uh, like a, like a, since I don't have time to really fully cook them, because uh, I would want to, like, take a pressure cooker and do a thing and, you know, stuff. and. A thing and stuff. That's a technical term, you guys. Very technical cooking speak here. Um, so that's, I, I'm feeling like that's going to end up being salad, and you've given me a lot of great salad ingredients here. So I'm hoping that that is legitimately a thing. Uh, um, but I am going to go ahead and drain the lentils. Well, you've also got this griddle here. Oh, excellent. So I can have more things cooking. All right. I, and I'm folks, a we do. Oh, go oh ahead. sorry there. No, Don't go, mean go, to go, interrupt go, there. Go ahead, uh, go folks, we do want to remind you as well if you are joining us uh, from the front page, please do click on the screen to actually go to our, uh, our actual page and you can join a squad. You can vote. You can impact the game itself. Uh, be sure to join Green Squad, the Good Squad, uh, as we like to say, the Heel Squad here. As you any just good said you were the handsome squad. Themselves as the heel. We are handsome. We're handsome you, heels. Uh, they are a handsome squad. Thank you. Anyway. And uh, you can join us uh, here today and vote on the ingredients that they actually get to cook with. Now, let's see here. Votes that uh, we did miss here while we were do, uh, doing the judging. Uh, Derek here got a super pot and has gotten a fresh garlic clove from you folks Thank there on God. the green squad. Great. Uh, and of course, purple squad, we were received a green pepper and we got this smokeless griddle. Oh, yes. Yeah. So can we turn this it on? It is already turned on okay. for you, ready to go. That's a thing. That's this good. This can get some of the stuff out of your way here for Thank you. Thank you. Clean up your space. Thank you, because obviously I don't do that. And uh, Derek, what is it that you're uh, doing with your dish over there? I'm going to do a little bit of pasta yeah. with these with this chicken when it's ready. Okay. Oh, perfect. Is that chicken in the oven? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we brown the skin and then um, it's in the oven. So uh, we do also want to say, because this didn't get announced there, uh, der the forced ingredient that Green Squad has voted upon Purple Squad, and we do want to let you sh uh, judges know as well, these Mori Morellanas cookies. I've never had them before. Oh, shit, sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Uh, these, yeah, these say cookies, they say galletas. I don't know what kind of cookie they are. Uh, so that's, that's what's going on here. These have to be present in the next dish, judges. So, Chef Anjali, I'm going to give this to you. And we'll I talk am actually delighted that you all picked the galletas because yesterday was National Cookie Day. So I'm really excited because we are being festive today <laughs> and we are celebrating the galletas in all forms. Uh, so, talk to us about what you got going on here in the stove, too. Um, well, I changed my mind for a minute here once I got everything inside uh, the pan and decided to make this a uh, lentil vegetable dish. And I am going to use the cilantro and the chile negro, along with the galletas, to um, be a delicious, flavorful addition. I love it. A delicious, delicious flavorful addition. Uh, to what's going on here, and I'm going to use that. Sounds great. And Chef Derek, what do you got going on over there with that pasta? Uh, we're going to do some uh, just some fresh pasta with butter. I'm going to toss that with a little bit of the pasta water, some garlic, uh, some thyme. That sounds great. You know what? Uh, you know what my favorite thing to eat with pasta is? What? Raisins. Oh. Raisins, and that's, in fact, that's raisins. That's the whitest thing I've ever heard. That is the, <laughs> raisins are going to be the forced ingredient for the next dish. So uh, judges, raisins are the forced ingredient for green squads. So yep. Chef Derek, I'm gonna leave these right here for you. Perfect. Raisins must be present. What are we gonna do with In which, raisins? Which dish? And the one you're making the now. The one you're making now. Perfect. Okay, he says perfect. Well, he says perfect, there you go. <laughs> Maybe it'll be good on the chicken, I don't know. So let's see here. We also got a little bit of some sesame oil from green squad there for <clears> us. <throat> good. How much time is it? Exactly. Guys, if you were on the front page there, Please do head, uh, go ahead and click on the screen so that you can go to our channel directly. You can follow us there. You can join a squad, and you can be a part of the action, which you control. You get to decide what ingredients 
both of these chefs get to use today. All right, Chef Anjali, you were pulling what we call a TED and just eating a bunch of stuff. Well, because I'm trying to, Chile Negro is not an ingredient uh, that I'm familiar with, so I want to oh, taste wild. what it tastes took, like before I put it in something. Uh, debauchery said you can soak them for a little bit if you need to. Uh, you're just tearing them up. I saw you eating a whole bunch of them. What's the talk? Quite delicious. Let's talk, yeah, let's um, talk about the taste. You also have the griddle cooking that you can start at some oh, point. Right, they are slightly bitter, that, um, oh, but also kind of a nice tangy flavor. Thank yeah. you, debauchery. Um, I will pay you later. Uh, so I kind of feel like they're a fun thing to throw on there. They might end up not as tasty after they've been in that griddle for a while. So we're going to find right. out. We're, we're going we're, we're to we're find, find out. Uh, out you, you, got, you got an apple that got, could help oh. with something. Oh, right. Wait, where are the galletas? Here they are. They're right, right there. You just with the, with the teeth. Okay. What do those taste like? I, I really want to know. know. The, the plastic is delicious. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I was asking about. <laughs> Woo! And it's gone. And there it goes. All right. Flare! They're so, flare! They're super thin, it looks oh. like. Oh! Oh. Did you just, she just got, what is that? Did you just I have just figured out I just had a great idea. Tell us, I tell love us the great idea. ideas. Tell us the I'm idea. I'm going to use the galletas to serve them on. Oh, okay. So, so you can eat them or not if you choose. But um, since the galletas are this beautiful, round, now cracked shape, um, these will be like... Little bruschetta. Oh, okay, so like, like a br little delicious so, bruschetta. So like like a chicken lentil bruschetta. Well, sort of, because galletas aren't particularly. They're not super sweet. They're sort of like the outside of a sort of like a fortune cookie. They are, yeah. Um, I mean these galletas. There are lots mm. of different kinds of galletas. They are um, really tasty. And I should probably get this on there. Oh, those are cool. I just want to use some All right. of the... Um, we got one coming up next. You want to head over? Because we got one coming up next. Yeah, I'll head over to the judges here, and we'll get their ideas on what's going on. Uh, Chef Derek also real fast just says, Ishman tells you you can boil the raisins to make them into the sauce. I can, but I have an even more fun idea. Great. All right. Great idea. Okay. So I am over here with the judges. Now, uh, Judge Tifa, give me sort of a quick rundown of how you felt about these dishes. What are your thoughts? Both of the dishes were some of the best dishes I've ever had on the show. Really? Yes. Wow, that's great. Really, really, really good. I mean, not great for Green Squad because we want Purple Squad <laughs> to lose, but how about you <laughs> tell me a little bit about what you thought of them? Um, so the green team dish uh, was very like seasoned well. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. The mushrooms were delicious. Um, it was missing a little bit of like color or okay. something like that. Um, the purple squad also very good. Slightly less seasoning, but okay. had more like vegetables and flavors. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, both dishes were incredible. Awesome. And how did you like both dishes? I agree. Both were terrific. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of the flip side of what she's saying. I actually thought Chef Derek's was a little over seasoned okay. uh, for my liking. Okay. Um, and Anjali's, Chef Anjali, was a little under seasoned, but I liked it because um, it had an extra flavor with that uh, chicken, the chicken skin crouton, which sure, sure. never had one before, and now I'll probably eat them all the time. Awesome. <laughs> so, but they both were really, really good. Awesome. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And production, if we could get the scores there. I don't know if they've got the scores ready to go for us here. Normally they do when we're on uh, over here with the judges, but I'm glad to hear that our dish went over well. Um, and look, there we go. We've got the uh, squad totals there. Currently right now, Mike's squad is up 53 to 48 right now. That's close, though. That is very close. That is a five-point difference there. It looks like the di it was completely across the board there. <clears throat> Haley actually is the one that appears gave us the lower scores there on taste, while Tifa gave us a perfect 10 on that. Happy went to uh, Purple Squad, and uh, looks like it was pretty much the even dead heat there on Sentry Turret. <laughs> Both of them did dead even on Sentry Turret. Wow, all right. Both so we are Chef, five congr down here. Congratulations, that is, a, that is a close, close game. Uh, Chef Anjali, you look a little different from the last time I saw my you. My hair was getting in my way, so I brought a festive <laughs> hat to put I on with me. I see that. Because um, I really, really needed my hair to be out of my way, but also I wanted to be festive and happy. Great. Uh, so while the judges were talking, were being talked to, uh, We've got some brown sugar, we which do. which got a little shimmy out of Chef Angeline when she saw that. And you guys got some bacon bits. We did get some bacon bits, and Ooh. it also looks like Purple Squad <laughs> has just sabotaged us. All right, hey, Derek, Derek uh, you ready to run? What are we doing? Oh. You got to take two laps around the building. All right. All so right. you're gonna go you're gonna go out this door right here and take and turn, turn a left twice. He's down. Turn okay. Left twice. He's down. <laughs> two laps. Two laps. Okay, go, uh, go off to the right and then turn that left. That way, turn left and go around and you come back in the door. You guys suck. I'll see you <laughs> yeah, they do. You guys suck so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and head over there and keep those dishes company. Uh, Revolution72 says, get those apples stewing, girl. Uh, oh, right. 
Good Ooh. call. Aren't you clever? You left. It's a lot of stuff that I, I oh, really gross. want to put into this. How much time do we have? You have nine and a half minutes, roughly, before we need to stop touching these dishes and we take them over to the judges. Are you? <laughs> you look. You no, look no, concerned. No, no. I'm, I'm, You're thinking. I'm, I'm thinking. You're in thought. Right, now the same. It's all the same categories for all three dishes. Correct. No, we're gonna have new categories. There we go. Oh, okay. So I don't have to. I don't uh, have let's to. go ahead and get this sabotage oh, done. Shit. Host I mean, and chefs, which for four minutes. That's all right. totally fine. Anjali, you're going to come stead over here, and you're going to tell right. me what you got going on. I so. really think this might actually be a benefit, because you might be better at anything uh, uh, that is involved over here. Come I on, lost more. the you omelet cook-off, so. Oh, no. Did, yeah. Well, he's going to go, he's going to go around oh, again. Oh, he's still going? He's still going. Okay. He's still going, so, so I'm it's, thinking. He's got to do two uh, laps. I feel like here. I might have, there's like, we might need to sort of be help with the chicken plating purpose because I think I put too much chicken on that first plate so we're going to have to split it a little bit All right, better. We'll figure it out. And also I just want to keep an eye on that because the chicken's been on there for a long time but the lentils and the onions are a little bit newer. All right well we got four minutes here for me to sit here and... Yeah, but the, the, chicken's been on there, the chicken's been on there for like a good chunk of time. Is that thing really on? The all right, so now, these, uh, all right, that's what I thought. What's okay. the, uh, so these apples, you're cutting them up there. I'm just going to toss them in with the, I, with the uh, Well, actually, I think I am going to uh, save them because we have, at this point, the fat kid. Uh, at this point, I don't know that I'm going to be able to cook them, per se, even though they'd be delicious. Well, they would be delicious with the... How much time do we have? We have eight and a half minutes. Okay, yeah. Ends back let's there. cook I a few of those. I think y'all should come over them. here and smell this. Oh, this raisin them. thing smells awesome, whatever he's doing there. See, raisins are delicious. It smells really good. Uh, All yeah, right, Derek is back. Them. Derek, this smells amazing. Thank you. It's, 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 it's so raisin good. Thing. It's so good. Oh, are they yeah, good? And I feel like we'll just cook. Feeling good about it? Here we go. Though. Derek uh, is back. Yeah, that smells amazing. I did that. I ate this. I did that thing that chefs yeah, do good. where you just sort of like take the pan and you go like this and it makes it look like you're cooking. Yeah. So it, I looked really professional there. I that's want you to know. That's all that matters that's, is the look. That's how you make it taste good. So uh, I'm glad that that's working. Yeah. And then we skip this chile negro for this. Sounds like a plan. I like that Anjali is just like giving you everything that you're going to be doing right now. Hey, uh, we got some allspice, Anjali, if you wouldn't mind. It's going to be right over here. Uh, oh, oh, says, oh, allspice stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, would... yeah the, the apple. Put it with the apple stuff. So make sure that the apples don't mix with the chicken. Right, we'll try we're going to use a little separate. bit of allspice, and we're going to make like a little side sweetness. A little side sweetness. That sounds like a naughty affair. Um, uh, so we're going to like cook those up. And oh, debauchery says we can grate the apples. Ooh. Man, debauchery just all up with the... Uh, yeah, she's telling really you how to apples. cook. God, hey, that's fine. God love her because no one else has All right. Um, so. in my lifetime. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My uh, mom was great about it. Derek, I want to turn it over to you for a second here. Derek, we've also got some thick-cut bacon oh, available God. to us, right? Thank God, yes. Bacon makes anything better. It makes anything better. In that I'm looking at the judges <laughs> nodding their head decisively. <laughs> this, this is going to get so much better. Oh, does it? Awesome. Like I'm going to turn this down quite a bit. All right. Take a look. Uh, Anjali, you're going to head and uh, hang out with, sh with uh, no, not, not quite yet. Not a minute and 33 oh. seconds left. We have one there. minute and 33 seconds? Before we switch again. Oh, but uh, you're, you're the host. No, no. I'm the, the host show now. now. I'm yeah. supposed to read things. Oh I'm the co-host. Go ahead. Host. Go ahead announce, why don't you announce the story? I am the co-host right now with the voice of Symmetra. Oh, my yes. God. Well, yeah. well, among other things. It's uh, a dream okay. come true. The scoring category, scoring category discussion and scoring rules yeah. reminder for First all of you. So click on the screen to join a squad. Vote impact the game. Right? Yes, that's a thing. Exactly am I doing, am I doing, doing the right. You're doing great. And impact the game. <laughs> Follow the channel to be notified when we're live in the future. Jeez. I don't know who that was. She was a 1940s movie star. I'm glad. This is why you're the professional. <laughs> Change it, guys. It's the cops. What's happening? <laughs> why, did, why did you do that one? Okay. I don't know. So we need oh, to amazing. announce. This is the part that we announced the scoring category. Mm -hmm. So we'll announce that to our chefs and our judges. You want to go ahead and do that one? Where it's is it? First date. See how it's right there? Oh, goodness. The scoring these. category is. First date. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, well, I, have I hope that I'm going on this first date with my husband because he wouldn't judge me for this. What, judge you for what? That it's, for, for that what's it's a about first to date? Come, no, that this, this, what this plate is. Uh, what, oh. What's coming. I'm actually really excited. I think sweet and savory is always really fun. Yeah. Especially when you can choose. When you have the option of like, like when there's like sweet corn on the side of something or uh, uh, like, a, like a fortune cookie on sure. the side of something or just anything. I think, I think this is going to go, we're going to do great. Okay, so apparently, uh, in on our s <coughs> on the screen here. Um, so, so my, my dear friend Rachel Kimsey, thank you for watching. She said, yes, host it, girl. Um, just like that. She said it like that. So both squads right now have apparently voted for the same scoring category. 
So it's double first date? <laughs> what? How is it's that a, possible? It's that a double date. It's so that means date. 20 out of the 10 ingredients, or 20 out of the 10 points, or 20 out of the 30 points, I'm sorry, will be scored on first date, on appropriateness for a first date. Really, that's okay. however you uh, want okay. to interpret that, judges. So let's okay. go ahead and turn it over to the judges real quick, okay. and we'll see what they think. You can also switch back yeah. with Mike. Okay, you are Judges, dope. what do you think about yeah. that? Now it's been first date twice. Can we make the second category be double date? If you want to, it's up to you. I feel like, is this... The first date was so bad that we have to now go on another. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you might have to. Okay. So this all right. is all up to your interpretation of those categories. Maybe if however we would you go want to do that. Second date. Well, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with that. It's the first right. date, and it really sucked the first time, and we're going on another all right. first date. Okay. Perfect. No, sounds good. Hi. Hi. What I miss? How did? How was your experience? It was great. I cooked some apples, hopefully to perfection. Uh huh. Uh, you know, I, I, I did the thing where I just kind of moved the food around <laughs> for a bit. This, we're going to the stove. Let's see Same what's going thing on that here. I did. Yeah, you know, oh. so that works. Angelie, what's going on? You're plating. I, I'm plating. We still have three I'm and a half I'm, minutes I'm left. I'm a but little. How many, how many minutes left? About three and a half. <laughs> Plenty of time. I'm going to throw some apples back Oops. in here. Yeah, she, all right, let's, all right. Really, let's so move yeah, these plates I, up front here's here. Also. The, here's my thought here, since we're dealing with first dates, especially if the first first date went so poorly. I'm I'm really interested in making my um, the person that I'm going on the date with happy which means I'm interested in giving them options, but they don't have to like tell me what they like. I'd like to present them with all of the options okay. this time so that they can be made happy on this particular event. I think that's fair. Everyone should be given options and uh, not judged for their decisions. Dude, no one's judging you. That's what I'm saying. No one's... In case you were wondering, this is fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, can we see what Derek's doing over here? Derek, you're chopping and we'll get an overhead shot of that. Uh, hopefully here in a second. Derek, what are you doing with the with the chicken? I'm just uh, cutting the chicken now. It's all fully cooked. Wow, and, nice uh, job. Get that on top. Looks like, that looks really good as well with the raisins there. I smelled that earlier. It smells delicious. So like we whatever. did more of a savory raisin. We took yeah. some of the sugar out. We added some garam masala, some butter. Wow. Uh, garam masala? You're speaking my language yet. Yes. <laughs> and I thought it's such a great spice for things like that. It's it, so I believe it's pronounced gram masala. <laughs> I it was believe invented you're by not gram. Indian. Um, it's, it's garam masala. Thank okay. You. That was the judgy Indian auntie coming out, I told you. Uh, Derek here, we're gonna bring out some of your plates over here onto your uh, workstation, that way we can uh, show the audience a little bit there. They actually can't see what's going on. Oh, shit. Uh, no, that's totally fine. I'm gonna bring some of your stuff out there for you. Great. Chef Anjali, uh, Ishman223, it says, bonus points for those heels. Uh, <laughs> and Pinan Mali says, she is so charismatic, yay, and love with an emo. Oh, oh. you guys Very just true. apparently don't make me cook. All right, you got about two minutes left here before we need to go ahead and serve these. You're just, okay. like, just about ready to go, so you can, well, I guess, sort of, it's sort of ready to go. I just want to make sure that it doesn't yeah, need sure. something else. Sure, all right. Do a well, you, little bit of taste. You did get a lemon when we were talking to Chef Derek, so I mean, I don't know if that can help for now or maybe Eat? for later. Uh, but also don't forget, guys, if you have not, uh, make sure that you go out and you join a squad. Make sure you hit that follow button and follow us if you're coming, especially if you're coming from the front page. Mm -hmm. The only way to interact with the show and to affect what is happening live is to join a squad. Is to join a squad, is to join hang out. Yeah, exactly. Join a squad. Which squad should they join, Anjali? Purple! Purple! Join the purple house. I was going to sing it, and then I realized I've been singing a lot, and that might annoy people. So no, that's okay. I think, join the purple squad. You, so you, you said you, you sing opera? I did, yes. I sang, um, um, my first opera that I sang was an opera that was um, translated by Tony Kushner and designed by Maurice Sendak based on oh, um, wow. a, a, a Czech opera that was performed in the concentration camps called wow. Undibar, and another Czech opera called uh, Comedy on the Bridge. So right. there's a piece of information for yeah. you. I feel good about this. These are nice and crunched. The lentils are nice this and crunched. This is great. We have about 50 seconds left. How am I presenting this to the judges? What am I saying? We talked about um, first date gone oh, bad. Oh, right, right. So it's first date gone bad. So we're presenting it to them as the, the, the taste of options. The taste um, of options. <laughs> this, is, um, this is a, a, a savory, crispy lentil chicken uh, bruschetta. Yeah. Um, you can say that just like that if I you'd will. like. Um, with a side of um, spiced apples. Okay. It feels like it could be vaguely Moroccan. All right. Um, that's vaguely. A thing. Cool. We got some turmeric for the next for the next dish. Whoa, you got super excited for that. And let's that. turn it over here, Derek. Uh, we've got about 16 seconds. How do you want me to tell the judges about this? What would you like me to present it as? I would present it as if this is your your first date again, your second first date. Okay. It's okay. got to go better than this meal. Okay. Like if it good. doesn't go better than this meal, then you're doomed to not be together. Okay. So, uh, I love that. Although the chicken turned out, who knows what your relationship is going to do? That's yeah. up to you. No. Absolutely.
absolutely. I'm going to bring these right over to there. I'm going to use this plate over here. That's a nicer looking one there. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, All right. Okay. Uh, so okay. more over here with the judges. Judges, we present to you the first date 2x uh, from for your options. And this is a lovely chicken and lentil bruschetta, as uh, Chef Angeli said, with a side of spiced apples. So there you go. First date times two. Enjoy your options. It's a, a lot of fish out there in that pond. All right, and then here is our uh, second date meal. This is your second first date, as described by our chef over there. Now, it's got to go better than this meal, is apparently what he was saying, uh, as you mm. can also hear him since you're 10 feet away. Um, but I'll describe the dish a little bit there. We've got that little crispy skin on the chicken there that is fully cooked, that has been uh, cooked in that oven there that we have. And then we actually, the forced ingredient here, we used those raisins and we cooked some of the sweetness out of them. And he uh, attempted to make those a little more savory tasting, so it would taste a little bit better with that chicken and the uh, angel. Angel hair pasta. First time angel hair pasta has been cooked on this show. Oh, Everyone nice. seems to uh, just skip it entirely for some reason. Oh, so well. this is the first time it's <laughs> been available to us on the show. Hey, that's right. That's right. Because we've talked, we've joked that we want to do a show one day yeah. where we pick all of the options that have never been picked before. Yes. And uh, <laughs> I think uh, angel hair now is now off that list because angel hair actually got picked this time. So that's crazy. Um, Chef Anjali, we only have, somebody said you're channeling a D uh, Disney princess. I'm what are you just channeling channeling a Disney, Disney princess? Yeah. Oh, you guys, what Disney princess should I be? Yes. Please don't say okay. Jasmine. She's We're not Indian. Indian. Right. She's, it's a confusing Perfect. thing. She looks like she's Indian. Um, a whole new world. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you got some granulated garlic. Uh, I'm going to turn it over oh, here. I want to see what. Chef Derek is thinking here. I've, we're seeing a little bit of your dish formulating, but Derek, what are exactly are you planning on doing on I'm, this dish? I just heard you go yes when you saw the enchilada sauce. So we're gonna do a Mexican stew with uh, braised beef, a little bit of braised beef in yeah. the Mexican, in the enchilada sauce, some bacon, some tamarind. Yeah. All that stuff kind of goes together. Uh, I've had that that super pot there for you this entire time. No, I don't want to use that. You don't want to use Terrifying. it. No. You're going to be able to make a better stew in in that pot within 18 minutes with yes. that stew. Is the meat going to cook all the way through in that oh, time? Oh yeah. yeah, stew cuts are like four or five minutes tops. At that really? Point. Yeah, it won't take very long at all. Awesome, that's exciting. Plus, you can have it, you know, it doesn't have to be completely cooked all the way through as beef can be medium rare. Right. I mean, or even less. You just less. want it to be nice and dark on the outside. Absolutely, for, for, for looks. Just Absolutely. like me. Absolutely. Now we've also got this steakhouse seasoning. Are you going to be able to use that at all or no? Yep. Ooh, yeah, sure. look that's at got that. got a bunch of stuff in there that's pretty applicable. To vote. Here's the problem with the enchilada sauce. No can opener. We do have a can so, opener. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is <laughs> available to us right here, here uh, somewhere. I have it. Oh, you had it. Okay, uh, perfect. We had a fortune green in something. <laughs> Something, you have to use canned pumpkin. Anjali, we have to use can judges. Canned pumpkin must go. be present in the next dish. Where got is it. that canned pumpkin now? That's gotta be right here on our side, is it? There it is. Nope. There it is. Are you allowed to open said canned pumpkin for me? I sure am. I'm here to help you all. Also use that can opener there, there for you. Uh, that means, Purple Squad, you are now voting on a forced ingredient for the Green Squad. Make sure you give them something really good. Something that's gonna, that's gonna hinder them. Um, at some point here. Any ideas or thoughts about what you can do with this canned pumpkin? Well, I feel like it's going to be a, a base to serve the the beef on. I think okay. like that's kind of the only thing that I can think of at this All right. point. Um, the only problem is I did make uh, the beef really savory, so maybe I'm going to add some brown sugar and just turn this into a little more of a Christmas dish. Oh, a Christmas dish. I mean, I like if it, was, it would be nice if it was like a... a turkey instead, but you know, uh, we're going to go with we're going to go with this. Let's see if this is cooked. Uh, great. Over there, Purple Squad, uh, speaking of Christmas and, uh, you know, and getting some sweet sides over there. Wow, bacon. We got bacon, potatoes, and how about some cinnamon, Derek? Sure. Ooh. Some cinnamon. Oh, all right, all so right. judges, uh, cinnamon for the Green Squad must be present in the next dish, and canned pumpkin for the Purple Squad. In all honesty, I think that cinnamon would actually yeah, fit perfectly perfect. well with a Mexican dish. I, I unfortunately agree with I you. I was going to say, wait a minute, that's not much of a force kind ingredient. Of, kind of a downside there for that. I think that, we got so. off that uh, pretty easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Chef Anjali, mm -hmm. you have a, this station's a mess. Yeah, <laughs> it sure <laughs> is. So because I don't know if you've noticed this, but I don't know how to cook. Great. Um, so, um, right. so yeah, I've just been kind of creating a mishmash and trying to get everything that I can in this. Oh, sorry. So but you think I'm maybe gonna... heating that that up a little bit? Maybe I... some, you can serve it raw and cold. I guess it's not raw. It is. It's canned... not raw. It's canned pumpkin. But I would like to heat it up. I just want to mix it with some other stuff first. You do have a mixing bowl. You can just Prepare. toss out those right. lentils. Perfect. Remember. That is true. I, and since I I'm, got not, you. I'm probably not going to use these lentils, I just yeah. need to waste them. But you know. can I Ooh. put them in here? Uh, Derek, what are you doing back there on the stove? There, you are. 
That looks delicious. I don't now have you... any utensils, so I gotta shake everything up myself. We have a, you have a knife. I do have a knife, but I don't wanna, I don't Look, wanna look Chef Derek, we had a chef the other day who lost all your, her utensils and used a cucumber to stir, I mean, and to stir meat. I got my hands in there, it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. The hand, you know, but your hand, if she burns a cucumber, that's fine. If you burn your hand, you're kind of done for. Yeah. So, oh, is that that olive oil? That's, that's some good olive oil. Where'd you get that olive oil, oil. from? Uh, we took that from that side, apparently. It just gifted itself to my table. Uh, we do also want to remind anybody who is at home, please do, uh, if you're watching us on the front page, do click through, and uh, you can go ahead and join a squad and follow us there. You'll get uh, alerts in the future there when we are broadcasting. That's every Tuesday through Saturday, 1 o'clock through 4 o'clock. All right, sounds great. Uh, Chef Anjali, you got a beer. Which is fantastic, you guys, because I might need a drink after this. Great. Uh, I'm going to come over and talk to these judges here. Oh, I, perfect. You're not on camera yet, so I don't think so. I did, that th I did that thing where I walked over. You know how when you go to a restaurant and you put the food in your mouth, I'm and quite. the waiter comes by and says, hey, so how was everything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quite. So that just that you literally just happened. Uh, have you, you've had a chance to taste both dishes? Yes. Mm. Great. Oh, look at that. Kayla says, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and start with you, Kayla. Let's talk to, uh, about both dishes. Um, this from Chef Derek, the <clears throat> pasta was delicious with the raisins. Yeah. Really, really good. And it had a nice flavoring to it. Um, the Chef Anjali, I have to say, it was kind of like an interesting, fun first date because you were constantly getting to know something else <laughs> is in the dish. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, I felt like I, I, I thought I had tasted everything and then I kept tasting more. Oh, wow, okay. You know? Judge Sorry, I thought I had time. <laughs> um, Dope, right? So, Holy shit. Starting with the green one, the pasta was amazing. It was like really, really good. I thought the raisins were a little strange with it, but I also know, you know, it was a force ingredient. Um, the chicken was like kind of standard, but the the pasta was like the star of the dish. Okay, absolutely. Um, for this, the purple dish, the apples were my favorite part. The awesome. Oh yeah. my gosh, the apples were incredible. I also really like the cookie with everything. Okay. Um, my lentils were overcooked, so I had to take a little bit off for that because you know just it happens. Kind of that burnt yep. taste. Um, but again, both dishes were really good. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. So uh, we'll get the scoring up here in just a second here, and we'll see how well uh, and what the new the new score is once we once we get going here. Uh, all right. Let's see here. In that last round, wow, that was such a close round. Uh, Purple Squad scored 47 points, and Green Squad scored 48 points. Ooh. A one point difference right there. Uh, dead even on taste across the board. Mm -hmm. uh, first date, Purple Squad scored a little bit higher. Um, then, uh, then the green squad there. Uh, actually, green squad eights all all the way down. Eight, 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 eight. Uh, <laughs> wow. Purple squad uh, on the first dates and the double dates. Uh, nine and seven and seven and eight. So we got knocked a little bit down on the first date, but tastes eights all across the board. That brings the new total score: one hundred points to the purple squad, ninety-six points to the green squad. Still anybody's game. Wow, this is a close, close match. This is gonna be a dead heat. I also want to say to you, Mike, that they like the apples the best. The part that you cooked, apparently. That's right. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, what's going on over there, Derek? You're throwing that enchilada sauce right into there. Yep. That's the yep. Ooh, that looks good. What are you using the tamarind for? Tamarind is in the beef. It's sitting on, uh, it's basically just going to flavor the beef. It's in the pan. Oh, no, excuse me. I moved it over here. I had it in the pan for a little while. Oh, okay. Now it's going to flavor the sauce. And uh, we also got Lucky Green Squad giving us their flour tortillas to go with yeah. this. Yeah. We've got a real Mexican flavor going on here, and I'm very excited about that. They also just gave us a yellow onion. Dope. Oh, nice. Uh, Chef Anjali, you're shaking your head over here. We've got some red wine vinegar. I'm not sure if you'll be able to use that or not, but oh, let's there good. in case you need to. Yeah. But you're shaking your head over here. What's going well, on? What's, what's, because what's... unfortunately, the combination of like super sweet with super savory, I'm a little, I'm a little not, not entirely sure of it. This okay. time. Normally, I love it. Normally, I'm all about it, and I am heating up this this pumpkin a little bit. I have no fats, which is kind of so. You would, a so bit. if there was a chance for a fat, maybe you would need a fat. I would love some butter. In case, butter, yeah. butter. in case anyone wants to give me some butter. butter. Uh, what if we didn't use as much of the pumpkin? Maybe just use it as a, uh, you know, as, as an accent? Yeah, I think we can, we also can do that. the fact that we are having to plate on these bowls kind of makes it a, a little tricky to separate the things. Like, I would like them to be separate dishes, but I don't know that we... So that's, that's what I'm that. saying. Maybe instead we just sort of do like that chef <clears throat> trick where it's that just like, like a, little, a, little, yeah. a little dollop on the yeah. top. Let me stop dollop. you there for just a minute. Yeah, because uh, Purple Squad <clears throat> has voted that me and uh, Derek have to link arms for five minutes. <laughs> All right, <laughs> great. Are you ready, Derek? You're gonna get nice me down job, the aisle. Purple Squad. 
Uh, right arm. All right, right let's arm. go, Dad. Right arm, he says. There you go. <laughs> Great. While that's happening, uh, debauchery. In the, oh, no, Rachel. I figured debauchery. Oh, Rachel, thank you, Rachel. Away. Rachel oh, says you pumpkins don't have you. to be sweet. You can make them savory like a sweet potato. Like the sweet potato I have there? This is true. They already, I already had the sugar in them. All right. Wow. Over here. Yeah. Hi, uh, hi guys. Yeah. What's going on? This is going good. No, I can, uh, Derek, I can also help you with my arm. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, let's oh, this see. I got to oh, see. Here we beer? go. Yeah, we have that beer. She's just gonna drink it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, are, are we gonna shotgun no, it? No, no, no. <laughs> I wanted to see that. I Let's really wanted to Let's see that. Let's turn this back up for a sec. <laughs> this is gonna be great in here. Oh, look at that. Really? Yeah, it'll cook off. There you go. Nice. Yeah. It's a really light beer, too. Yeah, but so. you'll get the hoppy part of it. Yeah. We'll boil yeah. that. No, it's off. perfect. I mean, Rainier is the same company that makes PBR, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how good is it going to be? It's going to be like that. It's going to be like, uh, wow, these pants are real tight. And I'm uh, like, listen, look at me. I love this band. <laughs> All right, I dig that. No, that's a good Chef that's a good Lee. Yeah. Uh, you know uh, how we have the unlimited. For me? Uh, we have unlimited water, which is awesome, right? Uh, you need yes. also you have to keep your hand on that faucet for this. five minutes. Okay. Because that's okay. going to have to go in the <laughs> oven real quick. Hang on. Uh, Debauchery oh. says, use a bit of the lemon and beer in the pumpkin. All right, you got to put your hand on the faucet. Right. What do you need? I can, I can right take here. care of this for you. Uh, oh, no, no, it's coming with me. It's coming with you. Okay, great. I will move anything out of the way. Put your hand on that faucet, Anjali, before you get okay. penalized. Right, okay. So then I, oh, this. Oh, it's extended. Oh, this part. Oh, that's fine. That I can do. Does it have to be the same hand the whole time? No. Is that a it thing? has to be just a hand on the faucet. A uh, hand. Cause I got one hand on my faucet, and the other hand is cooking a beef side. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, you got some diced green chili? I don't know if that'll help you. Maybe not. They're fire roasted. Uh, man, I, I, I feel like I've made a poor decision. I feel like I've made a poor decision. Pumpkin was the forced ingredient, right? It was, so it has so to be. So I got no present. What, what is up with these tongs? Can you open up these tongs? Since I have. I only have one hand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm going to make this plate look better for you. Thank you. Would this, you? You know, this is the Instagram plate. We'll worry about that later. Okay, good. Well, <laughs> we'll I, I should still make it look better. We will. Uh, It'll be I'm, fine. I'm going to make that fine. fine. Everything's uh, fine. Uh, Everything's fine. Hard Luck Hero says, oh my God, that was so good on your uh, your one hand in the pocket. Why, thank you. Uh, Rachel Kim just says, a girl. So we appreciate right, that. We're still over here. Hi, guys. How's it going over there? <laughs> we're, we're still good. doing our thing. We're, we're good. good. They're great. This is We're fantastic. doing good. This looks delicious. Like That this, does I, look I good. I wish that monitor was working because it looks great over here. <laughs> isn't isn't it turn off again right now? I don't uh, know. It happens. It comes back. It's good. Oh, uh, uh, you guys get some dried sage. I'll, I'll get the dried sage. Oh, for you thanks. Guys. Teamwork. The, can, we, know, can, I, can I beg? For uh, something? What do you need? I don't see the dried I, sage I'm, anymore. I'm still I mean, begging. It's gonna be under power with all the bacon. Wants to get me better now. Is the time. Seize the day, purple team. Seize the day. And all right. So oh, what do we do in here? Cinnamon. There we go. And what do we got? Sage? Oh, we great. do have sage. Yep. These guys are killing it for me. Yeah. I love it. Green Squad's good. Green Squad votes on good ingredients. This has got and like, put a bicycle tire in it. And cinnamon was forced on us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty. But wait. Yeah. So I you know. just put uh, cinnamon in there, which was our forced ingredient, and yes. then sage. And then sage. Wow. wow. This looks amazing. I'm really excited. We've got some real Mexican flavors. And we're going to pull this down to two. I wish I had a thing to stir it with, but I guess we'll use our knife. Yeah, we have our knife. We could stir that with the knife here. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> careful. Don't do this shit at home. <laughs> I will never do this shit at home. You will kill somebody. This show is all about making bad decisions with good you people. You will kill somebody. <laughs> this is not at all. Oh, and I should probably turn this other burner off so we don't all die. No, no, no. no. Yeah, that's a good idea. Turn that burner off there. All right. Uh, Chef Anjali, talk to me about what. Uh, talk to me about see. these bad decisions you're making. Let's talk it's about this. what we're going to do because we're about to serve one of your closest friends and my wife some it's food. So let's talk about what okay. the plan is well, here. Well, no, the plan, uh, the plan is slightly, um, has slightly gone awry uh, <laughs> simply because I don't have, I, I really need a fat. And this would work so well if I had had a fat to make this. Um, oh, thank you. I was trying to make it pretty with one hand. Um, that's. So many jokes. Um, uh, so this is, I feel like this is going to be a kind of underwhelming, um, you're not, underwhelming thing. I'm, you're not I'm, selling me with this confidence getting, here. No, I'm getting a little sad and uh, no. deep in my soul. But no. <laughs> I, I will say that the Christmas factor is strong with this um, because I, I am always a fan. Like, I could eat canned pumpkin out of the can. I love it so much. So, um, so combining it with allspice and some brown sugar to make it like a... <clears throat> 
A little side is uh, making me happy. Well, let's see how this works because right now we just got uh, God of the Gods of the Gods. It's how do I vote? Make sure that you access and grant access. You have to, if you're coming from front page, log into Twitch, come to our channel. Nice. You'll then have an option to join a squad right there. Uh, the scoring uh, is tilted. Tilted. So is it tilted? Oh, like that? Like tilted? it could be that? Like sure. tilted as fuck? I don't know. Tilted AF. I don't know. I don't. Is that a? Th I don't know. Doesn't that mean like you're drunk or something? Let's ask Amanda. Oh, no, Amanda's, that's, that's, Amanda's the young one. Amanda. Let's ask Amanda. Uh, Amanda. Production Amanda. Oh, what do you hey, think? Hey, Amanda. Do the young do the youngins mean? say tilted? I've never heard it. She's never heard She's it. Never she heard says. it. So <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, tilted, like getting drunk. Mm. Like That's that. what you're gonna oh. say. The thing, all right. Here's the thing, though, ch squads and chat. This is it's up to the discretion everybody. of the judges. The judges will decide what tilted means. Yeah. Uh, so. And you guys are voting on one right now. Chef, Chef, Chef Anjali, go. Oh, okay, I see you've pushed the meal towards the edge yes, of the plate so there. Sorry, and there's so much stuff on my shoes right now that I feel like I'm ice skating. So uh, I'm gonna have to wipe off the bottom of my shoes. That's great. Okay, so when now here. Why did I let go of this thing? I, you should have time. You got about 40. You got uh, yeah. 40 seconds left. Okay. All right. Uh, the next scoring category. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Is car wash. <laughs> car wash. You Overwatch kids. Uh, yeah. Setting up the car wash. Uh, for those of you that whoa, don't whoa, know, whoa, the, car, the, car the car wash thing. is a technique in Overwatch where you play multiple Symmetras and you guys just completely line an entrance so that when everybody walks through it like a car wash, all of the sentry turrets come down and take is somebody that out. You That's the car wash. Well, solo. here's what I'd, here's what I'd argue. solo, but we always had fun when we do six Symmetras. <laughs> Back in the sure. day, back in the day back when you used to be able to do when you used to be able to do that. I am uh, I am completely at a loss here. <laughs> now everybody, if you have not already joined a squad, never mind. Well, <laughs> the voting has ended now. Voting's done. But if you haven't so already, and you're on the front page. Go ahead and click Hands through, off. come through here, and uh, hit the follow button. You can join a squad for next time, and then you will be able to decide next time that you're in here, which is tomorrow, exactly what ingredients these chefs get. That's right. <laughs> Excuse me. This is our official launch week. We are live on this channel, twitch.tv slash squad says, every Tuesday through Saturday, 1 p.m. PST to 4 p.m. PST. And we'll be back tomorrow with another show. We and will. And on Friday. Yep. And then on Saturday. That's right. Uh, <laughs> let the judges know. Tilted means getting slightly mad. She apparently looked that up. Let's go to the judges. Yeah. Judges, talk to us. What do you think about car wash and tilted? So I knew that tilted meant like slightly mad. Okay. Because I get tilt playing. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, I'm on tilt now. Okay. What? <laughs> car wash, I didn't. I didn't know the Overwatch car wash thing. I was just thinking actual car wash. All right, well, you know, it's up to you guys. It's Kaylee? completely hard for me to get the image of Ted and Tarek linked arms, though, right now. I was laughing so hard I was crying. Are we adorable? Um, adorable. <laughs> I mean, adorable. <laughs> uh, tilted and car wash. I mean, I guess it speaks for itself. I don't know. I don't yeah. have anything funny to say about that because I still have the vision of you two. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's there. That's great. <laughs> uh, Derek, now I'm going to turn to you here. How are those tortillas? Ooh, you're cooking them like my grandma does. Yes. That's how, that's how I cook them at home. That's the real way. Or you know how you should really be doing that? You should be doing that directly on that stove. I should, but it's, it's open, so I don't want it to fall through. I understand that. Or you could burn your fingers like a real abuela. I mean, uh, the electric <laughs> grills, always. But. Electric grills, always. Gotcha. No, that's actually turning out great. That looks really good. Okay. Not as uh, wet as I thought it would end up being with that. Uh, <laughs> you, no, no, no. You, took the, you, took the thing you just there. made everybody <laughs> giggle right now. Anjali over here is just giggling in my ear right now. It's not as wet as it could be, everybody. <laughs> Look at her. Jesus Christ. It's not I as wet as it could be. I am a 12 year old boy. Uh, <laughs> what do we got? Two minutes? This is the okay. music. Uh, uh, Anjali, you've got two minutes left and you were working on your plate and what, what are you doing? Well, What's here's the thing. Uh, now that I know that Tilted is not like actually Tilted, I thought that Tilted was genuinely like Tilted. So yeah. I tilted my dish yeah. and had it kind of going up the side of the bowl. But now that I know it's slightly angry, I'm just making slightly angry faces Great. With, my, with my beef cubes. Okay. Because it's, like, it's an angry meal. And at the same time though, to me it looks like, like like the spout of a car wash it's is no, sprouting. No, yeah, oh yeah, gosh, car is, wash, is, car wash. Is, car wash. Yes, no, yes, yes. you got it there. It's the, you're doing. You're, you're, you know what? I know what I'm going to do with the car okay. wash. I'm take little pieces of beef and put them in on the, like, line the walls with them. Okay. So that we can. It's all about the look now, guys. Because, you know, it's all the about the now. look. Uh, um, if I sing car wash while they eat it, do I get extra points? <laughs> Derek, what's going on over here? What do you got going on with your tortillas? I am uh, just getting these a little toasty, brown butter. Yeah. Uh, and then we're done with those. Awesome. Those are going to go on top of the stew. Okay. They're going to go on top of the stew. So they're going to use those to. Uh, presumably dip into the stew. Yes. 
We're going to cut them into strips. Okay. Uh, with the 54 seconds we have left there? Yes. So you have plenty of time. Okay. Are you questioning <laughs> Chef Derek? Are you okay. questioning your own chef? Look. I just want to say, oh, Derek, if you want to do that up front here so we can actually see that, get a Oh, God, I don't know how. I, just, I don't have room. Oh, Hold on. Mind. Too can late. You guys. Uh, Chef Angelina, you have. So, Angeli. Chef Angeli, you have sorry. another Angelina. I know, I know. I know. I was, sorry, I'm, just, I'm stressed. <laughs> right I, because, now for what's I can, happening. can you tell what's happening here? So I I'm, can see what's I happening. I am putting this slightly you angry it? person, this slightly tilted beef dish. Bing! <laughs> through the car wash. Bing. Through the car wash. You have 20 seconds left. We're going to be able to get. <laughs> There, there it is. There, there we go. There's we the got, car wash. There's two, there's and then this one's going to be the, the the one for Instagram is going to have um, <laughs> fine, instead of about. apple, it's going to have little, little beef pellets. Great. As the, good as lord, the that's hot. Okay. Ooh, Derek, that looks good. We got oh my God. six seconds left there. We got to throw those in there gonna, right now. Gonna, Three, <laughs> give him two, enough. one. Oh we are God. good. Uh, bad gamer, nine, nine. this Thank is like you, Iron Derek. Chef and the ingredients of beef stew cube. Uh, Holy bad cow. gamer, this is like Iron Chef meets Cutthroat Kitchen meets Chopped, where the options are different every day. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see more of this in action. Awesome. Now oh, we so right. Good. We have a Mexican oh, stew here. We have the tortilla there that is meant wow. to be eaten with that. There it is a little brown tortilla. Now the cinnamon went inside mm. of the actual sauce itself there. Those cinnamon flavors mix really well. And uh, now here's here's the tilted part. We got tilted when we put the beer in it. Because you get That's tilted. That's not what that is. I thought it's mad. You get tilted. <laughs> Maybe he gets mad when he's drunk. It's mad, I thought. So there's beer in that, guy. So that's how you're getting tilted. <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, here's in my people work at car washes down in Stop. Southern California. So <laughs> nah. these these Mexican flavors, you would agree. Oh uh, the, these Mexican flavors fit with that as well. It's almost like a car bath. It is yes. almost like a car yeah, bath, which so is not a car wash. Hope you enjoy. It, really it smells. It does smell it really good. Really okay, good. from the purple squad, I'm glad taste is only ten points. <laughs> we have a very angry meat man. Oh my god! Uh, the pumpkin is of course the uh, the future ingredient. <laughs> Who he's angry because, as you can see, all the little sentry turrets are putting him through oh the car wash. You have to imagine little beams coming that. out right there. He is so, so that, angry. Is, that is the tilted <laughs> beef cube meat man oh with God. the little car wash sentry turrets coming out of there. So pleased to be enjoying it. We'll check in with you guys uh, you. in the next show. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> ladies and guys, are wow. you, you, you We're some stressy. You have a gift. Don't you say you had a gift for the oh, green yeah. spell? Hang on here. What? She informed me before this. What? There's a gift. Let's bring you guys both up here for a second. I got she has a she has a gift. I got so stressed out that I forgot to share. I felt like this was gonna be so festive for you. Are you ready? Um, can I put it on the mm -hmm. table? You sure can, yeah. Really? Put it's it on. for his table. Yeah, it's for the table. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this little guy? Oh, oh my wait. god. There's more. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm there. digging it. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow's show is actually going to be the first, of, the first of one of a kind. We're doing a vegan show tomorrow. The judges, the chefs, all the ingredients, everything happens to be a vegan themed chef tomorrow. So that's or a vegan themed show tomorrow. So that's going to be awesome. Um, we are going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and we're going to talk to uh, these chefs so about dishes one and dishes two <laughs> before we get the scoring for dish three. And we will declare a winner of today's episode of Squad Says Serve. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that follow button. Make sure you stick around. We're going to take a short recess. We'll be right back with the winner of Squad Says Serve. Don't go anywhere. Hey, everybody, and we are back. Wow, that was uh, that was a fun show today. That was in, that was a really good show, and it was a dead heat for most of the show. I mean, there was a four point difference going four going into down. round three. Four point difference between uh, our squad in the lead and your squad. I'm really hoping we can come back from that four point We're, difference. I, because I think there's a good chance, but at the same time, taste is only ten points. Taste is only ten points. And that dish did look like it tasted amazing. I haven't had a chance to taste it yet because Steve came in and grabbed every last he did. bit he of what was left. He took and Production I'm super Steve back here took a tortilla and just he's it's making noises in our ears. That he's uh, <laughs> let's talk about dishes one and dishes two. So chefs, talk to us about this first pork dish right now. What were the struggles? What were some of the ingredients you had? Um, well, at the, with this first pork dish, one of the struggles was that I had nothing for a big chunk of time. Um, so I used the um, the chicken skin from the second ingredient, the chicken, chicken skin from the chicken, yes, again, um, as like a crispy crouton to give it some flavor and to use it as a fat to be able to cook it in because ultimately I ended up having no fat to cook with um, in, the, in the whole thing. Um, and contrary to popular belief, fat is really necessary to our lives. <laughs> so uh, that, and then we had the um, 
judging category of uh, sentry turrets. Yeah. So I created a sentry turret garnish. Um, as you can see, this is the top of a carrot because it's a garnish, we don't eat it. And it has a pew 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 uh, a photon uh, beam coming out of it, uh, which is a cooked onion. So yeah, uh, challenges are I have never cooked pork before in my entire lifetime. It's not a thing that I've cooked. Um, so, uh, yeah, this whole thing was a challenge. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that specifically in the next show, Chill, because Judge Tifa said these first dishes were the best dishes she's ever had in her entire time being on the show. Wow. She might change her mind with this. Uh, she this she might. Beef uh, she's here. totally going to change the mind with well, yours. Well, let's see. Chef Derek, talk about what your pork dish. Those mushrooms I tasted were amazing. Yeah. So this, yeah, dish had a, this dish had a lot more mushrooms on it. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. I put the we've hero been, dish We've all been in, picking. Uh, and I had them shooting out all over the place uh, as a sentry tour. But, I, I, you know, I didn't have... I didn't have a, a, a side for this, so it was just a pork medallion, but I wanted to make sure that I got it cooked perfectly, right? seared off a little bit, and then let it sit with butter and thyme, and then I uh, threw what we call in the industry a shit ton of mushrooms on top of it. <laughs> uh, and uh, hopefully it turned out uh, good. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it looked, the color was good, and I felt good about it. Can I ask a question so I can learn as well as be humiliated? Um, <laughs> how, when you said you let it rest for a little while, is that a thing that you do with meats? Is that like you cook yeah. it and then you yes. let it rest to let the Because you don't want to cut it, the juices will stay in there and it actually still cooks a little bit when you yeah. take it off the heat. So you want to get it out of the heat oh. source and just let it rest even for, you know, five to ten minutes. And then when you cut into it, the juices have rested inside the meat gotcha. so it doesn't all come out. So you don't have a dry piece of meat. That is if, you ever, if you ever watch a Gordon Ramsay show, that's why he always gets pissed when somebody cuts, an, cuts something way too early. Time to watch and, a Gordon Ramsay show. This is all, all on the but plane. yes, but I should watch Gordon Ramsay show. Let's talk, there, let's talk about your your chicken and pasta dish because you got this is the one where we started getting some of those forced ingredients. You got raisins, so let's talk about this dish. I was stoked about raisins because when you <clears throat> mentioned it, I was like, that's such a white person thing to put in pasta. <laughs> but I dressed it up because somebody also gave us uh, uh, garam masala, mm -hmm. and so it was a little bit of uh, butter and sesame oil went in there and uh, we cooked the raisins at high heat mm -hmm. to create sort of a syrup, all the sugar wow. come out and then put the garam masala in and then just kept tossing them. I waited till the pasta was just about al dente and then threw that in and tossed it, but I didn't have any tools so I had to do it with a, <laughs> with a knife and my hands. But in the meantime, the, the chicken I'd put in at the beginning, I browned that off and got it in the oven and then it was ready to go. Hopefully uh, it looked like it was the right color. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a good sign. Make sure it's not chicken colored uh, when you get take it out. But I, I have to say, as a as a ninja, uh, that the garam masala mixed with the raisins and everything, like it's such a delicious flavor. Like you made, is it? You made, you have chosen wisely. Oh, thank you. That was, <laughs> That was, that was strong work. Like, I, I actually want to taste those dishes. Let's talk about your chicken dish. Let's talk about my chicken dish. Um, <laughs> this is wonderfully so, plated, not sloppy at all. Well, it's not, because the these, are two little, these are little galletas. So my first ingredient were um, these <clears throat> little cookies, these little Mexican galletas. So I made, um, I made sort of a savory chicken and lentil bruschetta, and I cooked the lentils so that they were crispy to go along with it. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did. Is it the oh, apples and the apples? And then okay. I also added some apples because one of the, well, both of the categories were first date. So we decided this was the second first date where the first first date went horribly wrong. So I wanted to provide my date with all of the options that he could possibly have in the sense that he would have savory options, he would have <laughs> sweet options, he would have crunchy <clears throat> options, he would have, and, it, and, it, and it, hopefully it had a little bit of a Moroccan thing to it. So, um, yeah. Well, all right, well, we got the, let's, we got the scores have been turned in. Let's go ahead and let's get the, let's call our judges over here. We'll call our judges over here, and the judges are gonna tell us their thoughts on this and third dish. Horrible. Final dish. And then we will get the final scores right now. If they they're can get down, they're both, they they're, they're, get they're both the short. No, they're, it's they're not both that they're short. short. It's and if the, the chairs are too high. So close. One of you can sit here, one of you can sit over on that side. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hello. All right. Oh, now, hi. so in the last few minutes here of Squad Says Serve, before we go into Squad Says Chill, let's talk about these third and final beef dishes. Uh, Tifa, you want to go and serve some? Yeah. Uh, so, purple dish uh, definitely had a lot of character uh, as far as... Yeah, there was the, a legitimate character in there. Yeah, that. the yeah. categories were concerned, so, like, great for that. Um, and it tasted, it tasted good. Um, it definitely wasn't, like, the best dish of the day. Um, on the green side, that tortilla was, like, so good with the sauce that I wish there'd been more of it. 
Like if you had just given me a whole tortilla for that sauce, it would have been ah. absolutely incredible. Um, but it tasted really good. Um, and like I said, it was like a car bath. So I felt like it hit that category well too. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Judge Kaylee, let's talk about the Derek's dish and then Anjali's. This was a hard one because it <clears throat> tasted like I was eating my dinner and my dessert. Okay. So the this was delicious. Like it was seasoned really nicely. The meat was really tender. The tortilla was great. I would have loved the same thing. Tortilla just sop More. up all that juice. Um, but then I had that and it tasted kind of like a holiday Odd pumpkin, <laughs> so angry, <laughs> tilted. tilted thing. Are you saying these dishes went together very actually, well? Yes, I, <laughs> yeah. I would have. Oh, that's yeah. right. I, I would have ordered that as as my meal and that as my dessert. Well, all right. Well, okay. Um, <laughs> all the points for green. Is all the points. Well, <laughs> well, I'm in agreement. Well, no. we'll, 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 we'll get multiple people. Okay, okay. We'll find out. We didn't, uh, didn't, didn't talk about my car wash. Oh, there, I, there, I mean, there was car there was car wash. It was, it was there. An actual car wash. It yeah. was, and yeah. it was very tilted. That guy, that angry tilted, <laughs> angry pumpkin tilted guy. guy. Was... All right, so uh, chefs, let you guys come come out to the front here. Let's so rest. judges are gonna have to get up there to <laughs> judges have to, <laughs> to get let right them out. Oh, you did it back here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost the belt. I lost the belt. Oh, you have so much things. They had too much. Now they were fun in your mouth. That's a different show. Uh, okay. <laughs> Fun in your mouth. That's Fun in your mouth. <laughs> okay. Should we, okay. Should we hold them together okay. like, a, like a trophy? So, we do want to announce what is happening. We're holding, they're they're we're holding, holding the together. tree. Like the, like the runner up and the, we're waiting. So, we are putting purple, uh, purple team score. Purple team score to 151 points uh, at the end there, a final score. And the green, green squad, squad. Green squad got. <laughs> 145! Wow! Purple Squad, oh, nice. let's get the final scores up there. Wow! Such a good, such, that means... I feel like you get the belt. Means I we get, I feel like we get the you belt, can. we get the, I'm taking the spatula because I can't find a ladle. <laughs> Where's, I don't know where the belt is. You want, the, we're gonna, we're gonna put that up here on the spatula. spatula. <laughs> and we're gonna put up on the, uh, on the back there. Go ahead and, right over there. We lost okay. the belt. That means you're gonna wear the oh, belt oh. during squat. You did we lose got, the belt. You, you had, had it, it and you lost it. It got thrown across somewhere. somewhere. Whatever. Like Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick 20 second intermission. We're gonna talk, we're gonna come back with squat and sit. Chill. That is going to be your chance to talk to the chefs and the judges directly to ask them what you thought about what just happened. Don't go anywhere. Squad says chill starts when we come back right now. Where the heck did the belt go? I don't know. It got. Where's 